Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I will be replacing the batteries of a UPS system. I've got four of them and uh, it's about a yearly process. I think the suppliers say you need to do it uh, every year. My experience is if you stretch it to two years they will really break. So in about 16 months I think you really should uh, do this. And the capacity will go down if you wait any longer. But what is a UPS? A UPS is an uninterruptible power supply. And it can do a little bit more than that. But it is actually just a battery charger and an inverter. And it also has some filters. So if you have sensitive equipment like servers or maybe your audio equipment of other things you're very fond of, it's very smart to put the UPS in between the power line and then it will filter out the little peaks that could be on the main voltage. And also if there is a short power interruption, the batteries will pick that up and the device can run or in case of a server, do a graceful shutdown after uh, five minutes. I found a very simple picture on the internet and uh, you can see here the mains is a little bit distorted. Here it will take out some of the power peaks. Here it goes through a rectifier, charges the battery and during normal use of course just trickle charge it and then it will regenerate the power and you have a very clean signal out. If the main is cut here it can run completely from batteries. So if you just want to replace the whole tray, that is not rocket science, you just order one on the internet, but they are about 400 euros, so that will not necessarily make you happy. But if we have a closer look at the tray, it, is, it are just four cells. So if you look at this, there are just four cells. I think they are uh, 9 amp hour, 12 volts, and we have uh, four of them. So roughly calculated, it's like 400 uh, watts. On the UPS itself says uh, 1500 watts, but that is not the power of the battery because we already seen that is about 400. But it is how much, uh, how much power it can clean the signal and actually deliver the power. But if it's 400 watts, and well, these are big UPSs already, the 1500 series. And in the back you can connect like uh, four servers. But that means your server can only take about 400 watts each because then you're all already in 1600 and the device can pick up 1500. But the batteries do only 400. So that means you can run one server. You can run only an hour. So if you have really connected four servers to your UPS, you need to be aware it's empty within 15 minutes, and especially when the batteries become older. So that's why they have a USB connection also in the UPS, and then you can do a graceful shutdown. So don't expect miracles, even though it is a huge UPS. So if we check the price of just one battery cell, and we need four, it's 30 euros. So then the price would be 120. So I know I can spend some time on this just to replace the cells only because I have a choice of spending 120 euros or spend 400 and a little bit of time. And I have four of them, so it makes a huge difference to replace the batteries. I would just put the time lapse because as I said, it's not rocket science, but then you get an idea.
So we job done for another 12 months. It didn't take me much more than an hour. So having done four, I think that's not bad. We save a lot of money on this. Only keep in mind, if you do this for clients that have certified equipment, you probably can't do it. These cells are not certified and then you're coming completely different amounts. But I can do it and I saved a lot of money right now. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.